All right, guys, this is a video I made so I can show you how I installed this light. It's a two nautical mile LED, and it's uh, actually made for a wakeboard tower for wakeboard boats. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I have this wire ran. This is for obviously a Yamaha SHO cowling and Mercury could be a little different. Uh, I don't know if there's an actual center point on the inside of the cowling, but Yamaha usually always has one. And I'll show you where that is in just a second. So inside the cowling of the Yamaha SHO, if you look here, there is underneath this black shroud, there's that little point of center. So what I did is I just centered it up. I drilled a pilot hole with a one thirty-second inch bit outward, put tape on it uh, from the inside. Then I taped the outside with 3M uh, masking tape on the outside. And then I drilled the hole coming in, which I use a, I believe it was a quarter inch. And I pre-drilled the holes for each stainless screw. And then I zip tied it here and I drilled a hole for the zip tie. I also drilled a hole, which doesn't affect the performance at an angle going this way, just slowly and carefully, so you don't nick it up like I did here. And I still went slow, so just you know, let it kind of work its way through and don't force it, just let the drill do its job. Uh, that way you can zip tie it and secure it here, so that way there's no play in this while you're running. And then I just, secured it down with some tape and it'll stay on there i've done this many times so um and the tape has never come off it'll leave a sticky residue on the inside of the cowling that's pretty much the worst case scenario um i i put this uh nylon expandable covering and i use heat shrink with glue on the ends to hold it in place and i use this quick connect I made it long enough so whenever you're you know taking it off with this you can actually set the cowling down on the back of the boat and I'll show you here in just a second give me a sec so make sure you put enough room on the wiring so that way you know you have it to where you can set the cowling down and it's not stressing the wire out um, so from here, this is the other end of that watertight connector and I put that nylon expandable loom on this and I ran it down through here and that's where all your fuel line and everything else runs to back here on this side. If you can see right there is where I put it. Um, there's a rubber gasket behind this metal plate and there's a little tiny round spot and if you just cut it out just enough for the wires to get through there it'll keep it tight and keep it from sliding back and forth I believe these are 11 or 12 I think these are 11 millimeter bolts there's two of them one here and one below it on the Yamaha's and I cannot find the There's two of them there, so you just have to remove these two. There's one here, and there's one down there. And then I ran the wire into this loom, and I ran it through here, ran it through the shell, and I continued on using that expandable nylon loom. And I could still use the pole lights if needed. Here's the original. And you can pull this thing out and you can see where I'd splice the wire. So this goes to the light on the cowling. This goes to the housing. And um, I use all heat shrink tubing with glue. Keeps it watertight. Uh, make sure you zip tie it and make sure that it's secure so that way it doesn't wiggle loose when you're running. There's nothing underneath this hole 
from what I've seen that can rub up or scrape up this wire to where it'll open it up and the coating on this is pretty good so um, and pretty much all you gotta do after you've cut the wiring and spliced it and reconnected it another thing that I use is I use heat shrink solder connectors so underneath this white are heat shrink solder connectors so you get a really good connection and they won't come apart on you for anything uh, so like tightening it and securing it really well is very important and then you can just take this and just get this back down in here and you know just screw it down snugly and you still have use for your original navigation lights and that's pretty much the installation of the light on the cowling the nav lights I installed on the front of the boat are LED um, and the degree is actually perfect. I mean, I thought it would, they weren't going to work out, but from when I stand off to the side at 112 and a half degrees, I could see it. So um, they're highly visible and they're acceptable. So um, I got these things on Amazon as well. I'll see how long they hold up. The reason why there's a plug here is because I um, had a different set of lights, but they were ugly. <laughs> you know, one was red, one was green. They were LED, but they were just cheap looking and uh, I didn't know how long they were going to last so I went ahead and replaced them and put these on. So this is actually my second set of aftermarket lighting I put on here and uh, I pretty much just pretty much tied into the wire from this plug the same as I did in the back. And um, heat shrink tubing, heat shrink solder connectors and uh, that nylon loom I would get into all that but any of y'all that have this boat know <laughs> whenever you have to take all this stuff out it's time consuming so but you guys get the point I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you have any questions uh, feel free to message me